Hi everyone, my name's Lisa Stephen. Uh, welcome to Gypsy Lodge Equestrian Centre. I'm a dressage rider, but I also run a riding school and I train riders from as young as four years of age through to 70 years of age. I've got a variety of students that I love to work with and a variety of horses. This horse I've got in the background at the moment is a beautiful young warm blood gelding, but I've also got Welsh Mountain Ponies, I've got Thoroughbreds, I've got uh, Connemaras, I've got everything. And it's really fascinating to working with different levels of riders and different levels of horses. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of different styles of horse and how they move and a couple of tips that really might help you uh, work with horses of this particular style when it comes to your riding and being able to tweak certain things just to help you work with your horse instead of against your horse. So when we do a 20 meter circle, we've got to make sure that the horse lines up to the shape that we want. Really good there with your hands. Yeah. We want to make sure that the shoulders have room to step out and we make sure that our hands follow the movement of that shoulder. We want to get Cody to open his gullet more and stretch his nose out a little bit, but riding from behind, trying to develop that elastic connection, which today is going to be kind of tricky because of the wind factor that we have. Yeah, good job, good job, good job. Now the movement of the horse's shoulders can be blocked very much by the rider's hands. So this is good here. You're allowing your hands to move with the horse. You're riding forwards with your seat and your leg. That's super. And that's allowing Cody to stride out in a nice medium walk that's bordering on stretching. That's really good. Fantastic. Good. Excellent there. Let him stretch his nose a little bit more forward. Yeah, you can still sit deep into the saddle. Super. Yeah. So making sure that when you combine your rein aid and your leg aid to stop a spook, make sure you sit nice and deep into the saddle at the same time so you can communicate through your seat to keep the horse in the rhythm that you want. Lovely. Okay, now shorten your reins up. And I just want to get you to demonstrate for me, Dana, how if you block him in the front, what happens to the quality of his, of his walk. So yeah, first of all, you see the walk deteriorate. <laughs> and of course he's doing periscope head at whatever's scary down in the creek. That's it, so just block that shoulder a bit firmer. See how he closes that angle, everything up and the quality of the walk deteriorates as well. Now free up your arms and letting him follow. Very good. And straight away, as soon as you softened your reins, the horse instantly relaxed. Okay, so as a rider, we have to remember that horses get a lot of tension through their riders. So as a rider, we have to make sure that we are relaxed in a tense situation so that we are not making a bad situation worse.